what's up my friends? My name is Marco Valdez and today I'm gonna show you the fastest and easiest way to smooth skin in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into the tutorial. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Control J. I'm actually gonna do that twice. I'm creating two copies of that original layer. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, and you can rename them by the way, I'm just, I'm lazy, okay? I'm pretty sure some of you understand that. But first thing I'm gonna do here is on this top layer, layer one copy, is I'm gonna do Control I on my keyboard. Now, I know that this looks a bit spooky right now, but it's just the first step, but it's just basically inverting the image. Now, the next step that I wanna do is I wanna move on over to Filter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come all the way down here to Other, and I'm gonna go and select High Pass. Yeah, you should get this little pop-up, and it, it, it is, again, it's gonna make your image look super scary, but I promise you, it's okay. So the radius, I usually leave this anywhere from 20 to 24 pixels. And now the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to Filter, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do Blur. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Gaussian Blur. Now that, very, very minimal anywhere from one to two pixels. All right, now again, still, you haven't really seen much of anything happen, but this next step right here is on this layer that we are working on, we're gonna go ahead and switch the blend mode from normal to vivid light. Okay, so see, we're kind of starting to see something happen now. This, this is good. So this next step is I'm basically gonna hold Alt on my keyboard, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Make a Mask button in Photoshop and it makes it into a black mask. Now you can see that I have my portrait back to normal, but I do have the black mask selected. So the final step in this is basically zoom in, right? Grab your brush tool and make sure that you have the color white selected. Now, this is the fun part right here where you really start to smooth the skin. Check this out. Have the brush selected right on that black mask. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start brushing and you can see instantly that it's starting to smooth out this skin. Now, there's only certain sections of the skin that I smooth out. So I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit, um, but basically nothing with hard edges. So like these areas of the nose right here, definitely don't mess with that. Don't mess with the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows, none of that. Um, so mainly it's like this cheek area right here, this cheek area, a little bit of the under chin, a little bit of the bridge of the nose, and the forehead area. Other than that, I don't really touch anything else. Oh, and the neck too. I'll, we'll get to that. I see that. Now, now it's starting to look pretty nice, but it, it does look a little overdone, but we will fix that. We will fix that. All right, here we go. This is complete. Obviously though, that is way too much smoothing. So the last thing that I like to do is on this layer, I like to just go ahead and lower the opacity and I like to keep it anywhere from 30 to 40%, usually more like the low 30s. So let's just swap this over to 30%. There we go. Now we got some of that texture back, which we want. That way now I can go to this layer one and now I can select my healing brush tool and just really go in there and start to kind of clean up some of these imperfections that you know, maybe that I'm not such a huge fan of. All right, so imperfections have now been cleaned up. Now, the one last touch that I like to do is I like to go ahead and kind of soften a little bit more on the shadows. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do this actually on layer one, is I'm going to select my dodge tool. I'm gonna make sure it's selected actually for shadows and keep this very low because these brushes are really, really powerful. So I like to keep mine anywhere from three to 5%. That way it doesn't have too much of an impact and I can be okay with the outcome. So now I've got the brush selected. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm just gonna work in those harsher shadow areas like this side of the cheek. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make that just a smidge lighter and right here along the chin and the neck as well. And I think that is actually gonna have a really, really huge impact in the way that this actually turns out. Okay, I have now completed the portrait. So let me actually show you here up on the screen. This is the before and this is the after. All right, my friends, that's pretty much all I got for you on this quick little tutorial. I'm too lazy to put my camera back on the tripod and film the outro and the original, uh, what's it called, the original setup that I had. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I sure hope that you learned something from this. And as always, stay creative, my friends, and I'll be seeing you again very soon. Bye.